I know Grandma has some weird things here. I guess she used to be a therapist. <laughs> when she wasn't having babies and crocheting and stuff like that, I don't know. Ah, well look here, a journal. Oh. Got a jacked up cover. Wonder what's inside. Second thought, I don't really want to read about Grandma's sex dream. <laughs> Give me that. Huh. May 10th, 1947. My first session with Lafayette. Lafayette Hubbard served a stint in the Navy after writing fiction for some time. His visit comes as an effect of his writer's block and overall low self-esteem. Hopefully, I can help clear his mind of negativity and steer him on a healthy course. So you see, I've done a lot of great things in my life. Huh. Practically a Blackfoot Indian. I served in the Navy where I single-handedly blew away slant-eye submarines. I also served as a special agent where I overthrew a sex magic ring. Well, that's how I met my wife, Sarah. I'm like a knight in shining armor, you might say. Here, regardless, uh, I have some issues. No, no, it's, it's not what you're thinking. <laughs> Impotence. <laughs> no, it's, it's much more serious than that. It's, it's my bread and butter. Writer's block. As a wellness practitioner, I'm here to help you. I'm dedicated to your health and well-being, and that usually involves us exploring past experiences and using new methods for you to achieve some balance in your life. Oh, I'm not looking for balance. I'm not deficient or anything. My wife just said I should see someone to help get over this. <laughs> You're lucky to have my business, though. I don't normally see women unless they're on all fours. <laughs> You just happen to be close to home, you know. Whoa, this guy sounds like a wiener. Keep reading. It can be a great challenge to treat a patient when they are so combative. As a doctor, you always want to heal, not harm. But lucky to have his business, I realized I would need some alternative therapy for Lafayette Hubbard. So you think this is really going to help? I guess that makes sense. As a Science fiction writer, I often explore new technologies in my mind. This isn't that different. It's just... Please relax. I just have so many advanced ideas. I'm not certain humanity's ready for what I've experienced and what I have to share. Well, there's only one way to cure writer's block and get those ideas into paper. Humanity's ready. Are you? This is gonna throw everyone's belief system out the window. What are all the popes and nuns and monks going to do without their crosses? I told you what to do. Grandma did always have a way of getting to the bottom of things. <laughs> yeah, she always seemed to know when to pull the plug. <laughs> wow. I am beginning to doubt my methods with Lafayette. Is it really working for him? Am I getting too much pleasure out of this? Helping him with his epiphany? I don't know anymore. So how is your book coming along? Are the sessions helping? I feel like I have all these ideas in my head. Like, like I'm at the edge of a great epiphany. I just I need a little more experience. I need, like, a, like an Indian vision quest. I need an experience Open up. to up. So it looks like your book is going to change the course of religion. Yes? Uh. Answer me! Uh.
Lafayette, you must learn how to work under pressure. <laughs> Man, Grandma was into some hucked up stuff. Definitely. I hope to be half as badass as she was. Please remove your shirt. This is going to be earth shattering, truly groundbreaking. It's I, I wrote an outline last night. My book is is about it's about freeing your mind, about having your own universe. This is well there's there's more to reveal, but but I'm saving it. Saving it for my followers. I think we have accomplished a lot in your sessions. How do you feel about your book? Okay, I, I think I've got it straight. I think I think this is going to be our last session. That's it. I wish you luck, Lafayette. It's not Lafayette. It's Elrond. Elrond Hubbard. Elrond Hubbard. Elrond Hubbard. Do I get a treat now?